Welcome to E2 Talk. So we talked, touched a little bit how like it's always helpful to start early and be prepared. Mm -hmm. um, what advice do you have for students who are just entering high school now? Like, what's the first thing that they should be thinking about? Um, so what I tell my students, I just actually had a couple meetings with my, all of my grade nine students. Um, and the things we focused on, I was like, you know, first of all, do some soul searching, right? Like, who are you? And it seems like a really big question. Yeah, what if I don't know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So I start up with like, give them like 10 questions to just answer some things about themselves. You know, yeah. what are the things that they enjoy and how do they spend their time? What are their favorite classes? Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't have to be this sort of like, just like when you ask a grade 12 student like, what are you gonna do when you graduate? It seems like this like big question. I'm like, just tell them what are you gonna do in the next year or two? It, it could change, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Like you don't have to feel this panic when people ask you these questions. Um, especially luckily for this generation, you know, they're going to have multiple careers and, mm -hmm. you know, they're going to constantly be studying and learning and gaining new skills. So it's even less like, should be less of a, you know, burdensome question. But I think it's, it's important for them to know who they are um, and what do they want. So yeah. start with themselves first and we do um, some career exploration related activities. You know, I always tell them like, think of you as a learner. Mm -hmm. your academic profile and of course you know what fi family priorities there might be in terms of finance or other things immigration yeah uh, and then kind of like look at what options make make sense for you uh, you know are you the type of student who'll be fine if there's like 300 students in a classroom mm -hmm. and still be able to navigate that mm -hmm. not that people are not successful in those environments because they are I went to a, a university that was really big yeah um, but yeah kind of you know answering those questions for yourself and then seeing what Fantastic. Yeah, there's another really good uh, free unbiased resource that I like to recommend, which is Education USA. Yep. Um, so I worked with them a lot when I was on admission side of the world, when I came and actually recruited around uh, different parts of Asia. I worked with them very closely when I lived in Mumbai. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, I've not fully partnered with them yet, but I know that they have a lot of services. Mm -hmm. I'm on their listserv and I see they offer great, great resources. Again, free workshops for all kinds of things, yep. from preparing your college essay to navigating what's, what's a public university and what do they offer, what are public research one universities, to preparing for your visa interview. You mm -hmm. know, all from, from the very beginning to the very end, there's just so many resources that they offer that are free mm -hmm. and again unbiased mm -hmm. uh, which I think is very important especially given the climate of, of yeah. Vietnam um, and the market in higher education so yeah. usually this is a really good again free resource called Road Trip Nation Road Trip Nation yes uh, that I recommend for students to um, go through they sort of answer very simple questions like what do I enjoy and what can I like keep doing and not get bored of and just three different questions and it populates um, a list of interviews yep. of people who made careers out of those same things. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. And they're like short interviews, like less than five minutes each, and they can go through and it's sort of like doing informational interviews yeah. that they're already done for They've you. They've done it and organized it for you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's, it is actually a usually freshman college students doing the interviews in that interview. Mm, that's cool. And they're interviewing somebody who's like made a career out of that. And they can kind of mess with it and go back and change. They're like, oh, this set of interviews and people's professions doesn't seem like something I want to do and I can go and change. So it helps them. So I tell them always yeah. to start with the career search because that's important. Like they need to know, you know, and again, the career might change, mm -hmm. but there's some key things about what they might want to do will be in several of the careers and jobs they might have. Mm -hmm. um, so and, and personality. So those two pieces I try to integrate. So who they are as individuals, you know, maybe you like computers, but are you the type of person who likes with, you know, being with computers and with people mm. and train mm -hmm. them? Or are you the type of person who likes being on computers and just being on your own and developing codes and yep. websites, you know? 
So depending on the type of person you are, the environment may be different in terms of what you might want. And then we kind of like take it to the, you know, digging into the college prep stuff. Yeah. You know, of course, standardized testing is one thing that I'm really emphasizing with my students now, now that mm -hmm. I realize they're all a little nervous about it. Yeah. Um, so the vast majority are waiting far too long before they start yes. prepping for it. Yes, yes. Um, so helping them sort of create a roadmap for themselves in terms of what is standardized testing going to look like for me mm -hmm. based on my situation, what I want to do, where I want to go. Mm -hmm. Any parting words of advice? Um, I mean, I think the, the biggest uh, piece is what I said earlier in terms of the, the quote. I think, you know, again, no matter what access you have of resources when you start with the national curriculum, you know, it's really about sort of your own individual personality and mm -hmm. what you can bring to wherever you go. And you can make the most out of that experience or you could go, you know, like a elite university mm -hmm. uh, and still not gain as much. So. I think a lot of the, the rankings focus on, on the input, mm -hmm. but not as much on the output. And um, what you hear is not you know, it's the product that came out of that. And I think the students, if you have sort of the grit and the drive uh, to even apply to the US, which yep. is like a whole, like, <laughs> you know, it starts like in year, as we've said, year yeah. nine and 10. So you're already sort of making a lot of strides in that. Yeah. Then I think you'll, you'll be fine no matter where you go. Well, thank you very much for all the time and for all the advice, uh, Maria Dibbler. Thank you.